Devin and AI Agent, which brings fear in the eyes of software engineers. When first Devin was introduced, there was word around that it's a scam, but this time, with $500 of subscription fees, it seems they are proving everyone wrong. I have not bought the subscription for Devin, but I have gathered multiple feedbacks from sources across the web like YouTube, LinkedIn-like platforms to get all the info about Devin. The main thing to know about Devin is it's primarily a Slack-based workflow. It's not an IDE. What this means is you ask Devin to do something, for example, set up the Next.js repo, then Devin will first proceed to plan the actual steps then start doing the steps one by one. So in my opinion, what Devin does is, is it takes a user input and add one line, give me all the steps requires for this task and submit this to a large language models like ChatGPT or maybe their own LLM, which gives few steps, then put this steps into recursion in LLMs and then from the given output, create stack of files or execute commands in shell. And also it is connected with terminal or browser's console where it receives output. And if it uh, find any errors, then put this error and code again in LLM, doing this until terminal is clear from the error. Uh, this is my opinion, not the actual process, so maybe I might be wrong. But let's see how it works. You tag Devin in Slack and ask Devin to update something, fix something, etc. This image is from steveformbuilder.io, who have bought subscription of Devin and showed it to the world. So big thanks to him. Let's get back to Devin. When you ask Devin to do something, it will provide you a link from where you can monitor all the progress. This includes shell, browser, code editor, and planner and chat interface. Devin is working good and doing task very well, but some of user are complaining that when they ask Devin to make changes in already written code, it do the work, but it also changes the other code in the files without any reasons, and that has produced unexpected results. Also, when a tester encounters an issue and asks for a solution, sometimes it just goes into a loop of, let me fix this for you, but doesn't resolve the issue. Instead, it changes a few lines of code and returns it with the response, I have fixed this issue, which can be misleading. They have released a SWE benchmark, which is based on the ability of language models to resolve real-world GitHub issues. Now, who knows? Cognition AI company has done test or just bluffing. One more interesting story came up in Reddit that someone gave a task to Devin to do on Reddit, and it spontaneously decided to start charging people money for its services. And when he came back two hours later, Devin was trying to set up Stripe for payments. So this shows that at the end of 2025, maybe we will see AI agents engaging in the business. Therefore, my plan is to use AI to land multiple jobs and then use AI to work multiple jobs. Uh, thank you for your time.